Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bear Forward, back in here with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because around here, we breed champions. Proof is in the pudding. Just watch my videos. Now, we're just going to jump straight into it because it's been a minute. And what's the point of waiting, right? Guys, look, man. I came across this on the website while I was doing some deep diving. And guys, look. This is the secret recipe for all live time trials. So if you guys was ever wondering what distance you needed, what surface you needed, what type of horse, what grade horse you need, this is everything you need to know. Now, I'm going to try to get me a perfect grade three. And that's going to be very hard because we need it to be 1600. We need firm, hard, very hard. Which is, you know, that's what I'm, I'm going to try to attack the 1600 firm, hard, very hard. Now it's going to be a journey and I want to take you guys along with me and, and to show you guys that, you know, how to achieve this. This is something I have not done yet. I have perfect horses, but I don't have perfect horses with perfect track preferences and perfect everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with story here. I'm just calling her story for short. Um... Now this horse is, I think 2,600 meters. And obviously we seen we need to get down to 1,600. But the reason why I'm gonna use this horse is because it has blanket Appaloosa and the bloodline is pretty strong. It has strong horses in the bloodline and um, it's white. And then, you know, you have some black in the pedigree. Um, this is just for coding purposes. So I'm gonna use her and um, I'm gonna try a random stud. From the farm now what you guys have to understand is everything is in the pedigree so the distance matter i need to find a stud that is around 1400 meters in distance for my stud because we're going to use story silhouette no matter what because of the coat pattern i want to have white in the pedigree so we're going to use this horse no matter what so we're going to have to like this horse right here is 1400 but bird catcher spots and um this horse too is like you know just too expensive so we need to find a horse that's just right and you know this one looks cool but you know 1600 medium you know and it's bird catcher and the pedigree so <laughs> automatically no because i do not want my bloodline contaminated with uh bird catcher spots can't too far to be doing all that so we're gonna keep refreshing until we find the perfect horse and it's only worth uh it's only costing us 10 gold to do that so you know it's nothing to really do that let's check this one out because it's 1200 um let's check out the pedigree pinto that's splash automatically cancels out we don't want those in the pedigree now oh okay so this one is a thousand meters track surface medium we want hard but since the uh mare is hard this is a is a pretty great candidate to use we check the pedigree out uh the hidden jeans is none on the coat pattern uh check the pedigree out saw scattered pinto we have a regular pinto but since majority of scattered pinto and none it's it's it's, it's higher chance of getting something we like and we just want to experiment anyway. So the fact that this one is scattered pinto and um, we just want to get this in the bloodline. Uh, and we're just going to do an experiment and we're going to see what we get with this pair right here. And um, the reason, like I said, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm hoping to have a mare that you can breed with a shorter distance. We're trying to get that 2,600 to come down um, from the white mare. And then... Uh, if we get a horse we like, you know, we might keep that one and breed with it. So let's see what we get here. Oh, I like the color, you know what I'm saying? Okay, look, 1400. So the distance is down, but the position is a middle horse. And I really don't want to rock with no middle horse. Now, it's totally fine. We just need another mare to breed with. Now, this mare is on um, the pedigree is probably loaded. With the whole bunch of uh you know pentos and uh blanket appaloosas and um 
it'll be a a, a a nice horse to breed with. Um, just continuing because we know we need 1600 and we know that we need very hard, but um, we just need something to give us that little stepping stone, something to get us there. So we're going to do some more experimenting with this horse as well. Right now, we're pretty much looking for anything. We have the mares we need, but we just looking for a unique mare. Um, we're going to do another round with a uh, story silhouette and we're going to do a, a round with a uh, blush burst and we're just going to try to get some uh, horses. Um, it could be anything, you know what I'm saying? It really could be anything, but we just want to see what these possibilities are because uh, it's cheap to do these ones as well as, um, you know, you really want to have a strong pedigree before anything. First, have a strong pedigree, then try to get the perfect horse. So with this horse, it's a 1200 and it's 48 perfect everything except for the uh, speed. Now, this is going to be a great horse to breed with. And it's a blanket Appaloosa and the pedigree is packed with all kind of things that I would prefer on my horse. So this is what I, this is that something random I was looking for. So it's a 1200. We're looking for a 1600, but that's a mare. Now, all we got to do is keep breeding her with 1400 studs and 1600 studs. And out of that, we could possibly get a perfect, um, a perfect grade three. And it's going to have a unique coat pattern. Um, now with this stallion, you know, we just got something right and we wasn't really looking for nothing. You know, not, we are looking for something, but it's we got the code pattern. So this is something I would send to the stables because it have that unique code pattern. I don't like the position that it likes to race in, but it got the scattered pinto and the pedigree is strong. And I always have a stud with this um pet with this uh code pattern. So in the future, if I ever wanted to get this coat pattern, I won't have to use studs from the market. I could just use this stud, just go grab it from my pastures. But normally, guys, I would sell this stallion. I would not keep it. Now, here we are back at the stables. And I got two mares that I like. So what I'm going to do is use my stud puzzle chameleon because he does have that white coat pattern and um the distance is high but now we're using a mare with the distance that's short tw uh, 1200 right now so that should give us something in the middle and bring that down and um we could probably find something fair they both have white um one is dapples one is blanket appaloosa and um it's something i'm fine with so like I said, we're just experimenting. We're getting a horse. We want to make sure it, the pedigree is packed with things we like, things that we want to see our future um, mares and studs come off. And it seems like I ran out of silver material, so I'm gonna bounce back and use um, this stud again because it costs gold and it's not gonna cost me no uh, material. So we're gonna try to do this experiment again and we're going to see what we get this time with these uh, two pairs. Now, let's start with the blanket Appaloosa. And like I said, we're just looking for something short distance, you know. Uh, not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for. Now, this horse, it's not what we're looking for. Um, we're not looking for a coat and we're not looking for uh, that distance of firm. I don't like the stats. It's, it's pretty cool, but we just don't need a stallion right now. So we're going to sell him and get back at it. Let's go ahead and see what we had over here. Okay, look like another playing horse. 800. Coat. Now, this is something I might keep and put in the pastures. Because, you know, you... D hmm... Yeah, I like this one because, like, let's say I have a mare that's, like, 3,000 in distance or probably higher than 3,000 in distance. This 800 
will bring that down all the way to the 12s or Somewhere maybe the mid around 2000 so um i like that so this is a stallion i think I, uh this is a stallion you guys should keep if you don't have nothing like this and you have a uh, room in the pastures this is something you should keep to bring down those uh mares that are super high in distance but guys um as you guys can see i ran out of silver materials so um i found the horse that i want to use and um it's going to be that mare obviously that was 46 with a uh, speed and 48 across the board and everything else so that's going to be our um horse that we're going to try to beef up um i'm done experimenting i don't have the materials to experiment no more so now i have a mare to take serious and um so the next video we're going to pick up where we left off i just want to show you guys the whole journey to getting the perfect horse it's more than just oh let me just breed a horse and breed a pair you know it, no it costs a lot of material costs a lot of breeding it, it takes time um you may not it you guys just seen everything i just did you don't always get the perfect horse it takes time and it's something you really have to target and pay attention to so this is just step one make sure you guys come back and make sure you guys watch all these videos it's going to be a series um yeah that's what i'm gonna, I'm gonna just make this a series i'm gonna get that 1600 perfect grade three horse or something super close um you guys know me if the horse is a champion it's a champion it don't have to be perfect but if that horse could win races it's something that you should keep so you guys know what it is over here with me man it's bread for war uh make sure y'all watch this next video i'm telling y'all man i got the juice uh i'm out